Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Nana Fun.
I just don't know what's going on here. Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe it doesn't matter so much. Hmm. Sampun. That's tricky. Nifun Sanjubio. Nifun. I looked a lot. I missed this. 
Thanks for the game. Well played. One down, two to go. Good luck. Hmm. What's this? We're going to play the beginner shape again, because it's exciting. Yes, I've exposed my knight's head, but this looked too interesting for me to pass up. So I've given away a knight for this attack, which is probably not worth it, especially because I'm about to lose a gold next. Um, yeah, so this is what happens when you attack without defending first. You get an exciting position. Um, I should probably take this, unless somehow not taking makes me safer. Alright, I think this actually increases my king's safety a little bit. Not much. Yeah, the this rook exchange. I, makes the position chaotic. I don't know that it actually benefits my opponent for us to have gone into this. Uh, it really looks fine. Just wanted to check that. But yeah, here... Um, I don't know. 
I'm guessing they're going to drop a rook somewhere on this back rank and try to do something clever with it. But I don't know that they there's anything clever they can do. If they check here, I guess I have to block with my rook. Oh, that's the snipe balls. And see so yeah, how we exchange rooks. My king steps away from the corner, which is not great but I don't really have a choice. I don't want to lose all these pieces. If my king ever wants to have a home, I can't surrender these. Okay, that's a check. It doesn't much matter which square I select because they're going to attack me anyway. Um... Hmm. Nana fun. I forgot they could take multiple generals. This is going to be exciting. If I live. Which I don't. Um. Hmm. Alright, well let's take this one. Maybe we live. But almost certainly I don't. Um. Mm-hmm. All right, let's pretend that that's fine. Well, I could take that and give them more pieces to attack with. Let's refrain. Until they force me to do it. Interesting. Let's just keep running. Okay, now my hand is forced. I have to do something. I block my opponent's bishop and fork two gold generals. Meanwhile, my horse actually has some influence on this diagonal. This is not a dream position, but it's something. Gofun.
kind of messy, isn't it? No, this doesn't work the way I imagined. The way I imagined it, Knight takes Pawn Drop actually produced an attack that continues. This just loses a Pawn and a Tempo. And more if I let them take here. But they might not even take it. Welcome. Yeah, okay, this is not accurate either. I mean, maybe there's a point, but I don't understand. Alright, I have to take this. Oh, that's the point? Is that all? This could be interesting. <laughs> My position is atrocious and worsening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure I've been dead for the last 20 moves, 10 moves, something like that. And my opponent just is being very patient. That's fine, as long as they find a checkmate in the next four minutes there. I'm just not accustomed to being patient. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I suspect probably they had some way to checkmate me by force. It just hasn't occurred yet. Uh, if I block that, I assume I'm in a lot of trouble. Um... Sampun. Yeah, if I block at the knight, they drop a knight to continue an attack. Let's just get out of there. I have one gold general that's holding all of this together. Which means it's really not. Mm -hmm. Hmm.
There are no purely defensive moves. This is what Shogi Harbor keeps telling us. That if you are getting attacked, if you play purely defensive moves, you will get checkmated. But I have no attacking moves here either, so... Uh, it's a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, oh, my knight does cover the square. Interesting. I was about to protest, like, surely there was something here that I missed. But there's not an immediate knockout blow that I see. There might be one, I just don't see it. Like, knight drop here could be interesting. Um... Uh, replace interesting with fatal. We'll see if they find it. Hmm. Sanjubio. Thanks for the game. They found it. All right, two down, one to go. What's our next proverb? Good luck.
<laughs> We've got a pawn grubber. Yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I used to be, like, super overly concerned when something happened to that pawn. I'm not quite as concerned anymore when that happens. That said, giving away a pawn in the opening is supposed to be huge. So, I should be a bit more concerned than I am. I don't know how much more, but at least a bit. The rook doesn't really belong there. I've tried this and other rook moves on many occasions. They just tend not to be the most productive of rook moves. Um, Oh, I gave away another pawn? Oh, that's not great. Why'd I do that? I don't know whether to retreat my bishop or not here. Well, if I don't retreat... Well, no, it doesn't get trapped. Does it? Yes, it does. If I do retreat it, do I lose the bishop anyway? Maybe. But if I leave it exposed up here, silver drop, gold move, and there's... It's ensnared. Without any advantage that I can see. So... We'll take this one. We'll take the poison we're familiar with over the one that we haven't seen before.
Well, our opponent has grabbed two pawns and has not built a castle and has not activated their bishop. So maybe it's even? I don't know. That's annoying. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to bank on this working for whatever the definition of working is supposed to be. Um, wait. Oh, this is still defended. Golds do move sideways. All right. Let's Not take enough. one of these. These are kind of nice for attacking bishops. That's surprising. I'm having a difficult time using my bishop. Let's use my lance instead. Ah, blind spot. <laughs> ah, just as things were starting to trend in my favor, I forget how the pieces move. Well, this is going to be more chal- oh, that makes two of us. Thank goodness. Ah, well then, um, something happened this game. You might be well advised to forget this game ever happened. Uh, okay, we prevent this from promoting. I keep saying, playing these games around the time of the daily reset, I Go think home. reaps some reward. In terms of like what rank or rating you can achieve. I assume there's some advantage to playing at this hour.
I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. On the other hand, my opponent's rank is visible on the screen, so it could just be that I'm on a losing streak of two games and Shogi Wars paired me with an opponent who might also not be on a winning streak. If they drop the knight somewhere, I can consider dropping a rook, and they would not have much to defend with here. Though I don't have much to attack with just yet. We played a pretty volatile opening. Both of us were pretty stubborn about it. You're supposed to, like, spend some time defending your king and some time activating your pieces and strike a beautiful harmony between the two. Um, and it's hard to do that. But I didn't really activate my pieces very well. I did secure my king, but could have done a lot better on the not hanging stuff front of things. So, also, yeah, hanging a gold general that allowed their dragon to run around roaming freely was not super great on my part. Um, but their forces are running thin. I have some chances here. Uh, as long as I don't continue hanging pieces. Uh, what do we do about this? Man, I would like to just checkmate and win. It's never so simple. <laughs> oh, now if I move my bishop out, there's a fork right there. I've been setting this up for him the whole time, haven't I? On the other hand, the silver really should not promote here, because that's super far away from everything. So maybe this is better than the other gold move. I just thought if I move the gold here, it's still hanging and it's closer to other stuff that's hanging. Whereas here, it's kind of distant from the king, so there's no reason for them to chase it. Other than it might be an Thanks for the Yeah, their attack ran out. They gave up too many pieces. I've done that before. Okay. I think I've counted correctly. I think that is three games. Hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.